Let's go and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Blue Skies. Last episode we had a little bit of a confrontation with Siori, who's our girlfriend by the way if you're not aware of that. Um, we ended up walking home with Yori one day, alone, without Siori. Ever since then our chemistry has never really been the same. Siori seems to be a lot more distant and in general seems like she... Feels like she's not worthy of the relationship and maybe slightly jealous. So, we realized that and we are now sitting her down and we're trying to, um, well, let her know that we do truly love her. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode and hopefully we can patch things up. Siri and I settle into my house. Once we're comfortable, I continue to press her. No, Siri, it's not your fault. I, I didn't really see it from your perspective at all. Please believe me when I say that you're the only one I want. Yuri is a great friend, but that's it. The feelings I've felt for her have always been platonic. I wrap her into a hug and she sighs. As I stroke her, she clings to me, hiding her face in the folds of my blazer. I'm the one that should be apologizing. I'm just... Well, I'm totally new to relationships, so... I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't think you were trying to hurt me or anything. Okay, good, because I definitely don't want to hurt you. I've been such an idiot. Yuri's just been feeling really, really lonely recently. I briefly fill Siori in on what Yuri told me yesterday. I'm not entirely sure if I should be telling her this, but at this point in time, I'm much more concerned with the complete clarity between Siori and I. Oh, so that's why... It makes a lot of sense thinking about it. Although I can't help but think. You know, there's you always gotta have somebody to share a secret with, you know? And, and why not your significant other? The way I see it, it's like, you know, see, she's always not gonna say anything to Yuri about it. I think it's totally fine that we tell her that Yuri's going through a tough time. Anyway, let's keep going. Although I can't help but think. She looks down at the ground again, nervously biting her lip. I can't help but feel that Yuri likes you, Rar. Well, <laughs> that's, uh, that's unfortunately another side of the equation. I was really hoping we weren't really gonna, you know, discuss that. But yeah, totally possible. Don't worry. I will keep my hands to myself, Siori. Uh, really? You can really be dense sometimes. There's a sad playfulness in her tone. Yeah, really. She's trying to spend more time with you. She really appreciates your company? It's subtle, but I can tell by the way she looks at you. I think she gets really attached quickly. <laughs> oh boy, do we know. From Canon DDLC, man. But she said she knew we were together and didn't want to intrude on that or anything. Siori? Maybe I was right then. About what? About me just dragging you down. What can I even give you that Yuri can't? You said it yourself. She's lonely. And if she was with you, then she'd be happy. She's smart. She's really pretty. She's really elegant. And what am I? I'm just an airhead. I can't even find the time to get ready in the morning. I'm just a dead weight to you. You're so much more than that, Siori. Even if Yuri is the most desirable girl on the planet, I wouldn't give a damn, because you're the only person I want. You know something? When I was walking with Yuri yesterday, I couldn't help but wish that it was you that I was with. It was only the one uh, it was only one time we didn't walk together, but one time is all you need to realize how much I enjoy walking home with you. So what if you can't get what if you can't find time in the morning to get ready? You're still beautiful, even when you don't try. Oh, Roar. You're just saying that, though. I swear on my life that I'm being 100% genuine. These are the things I've always wanted to say to you, but I've never really known how. And that's not all. I wake up every day and I feel so goddamn lucky knowing that you're my girlfriend. You've always been there for me when I needed it most. I don't think... I've ever told you just how happy you make me. I pull her in close for a kiss. She, cl she clings close to me and I can sense the urgency in her hair. In, in her hair. 
in her touch. It's impossible to describe how it feels to hold her in this moment of vulnerability. I don't really care how elegant Yuri is. If I'm being honest, that's... Uh, that's her. Who she is. I much prefer your quirkiness and how silly we can be together. We have that link that no other girl in the world can say that we have. We really do have history together, don't we? A history that I'd never trade for anything. Roar? Hmm? Oh. Please don't leave me. I know I'm being selfish asking that. You're not. It's still so confusing. But when I'm with you, I feel warm inside, and I think that, well, just for a moment, that maybe everything will be okay. I can't really understand why you care about me so much, but I'll trust you. I'm glad, Siori. I really am. But if I'm being honest, he looks up at me. We can't do this alone. I think we should look into getting you some therapy. He looks away. I'll obviously be there for you, but I'm just a normal teenage guy. There's only so much I can do. I don't know. Why not? It's just a really scary thought. I don't want to go through all that false hope again. Again? I've tried therapy and antidepressants before, Rar. Back when I was first diagnosed with depression, everyone told me it would work. They told me that I'd feel okay again. But that never happened. I was so much younger back then and everything was a million times scarier and more confusing. All of those tests, all of the questions, the drugs. I don't know what was wrong with me. The whole thing was terrifying. What I'd give to be a medical professional right now. Wow, well, see where I got. I had no idea. I wouldn't have expected you to know. Would you believe me if I said that things would be different this time around? And how would you know that? I wouldn't, at least for sure. But if we leave this unchecked, how are things ever going to change? I know it must be really hard for you, believe me. I can only imagine what you're going through. And I totally get why you'd be reluctant to try it again. But I promise you that this time I'll be there. You wouldn't have to go through it all alone. Squeeze her hand. Well... We'll get through it together, remember? What if that doesn't work again? We'll find another doctor and another therapist until it does then. It's not going to be easy though. I know, I know, but I'm not going to give up on you, so I don't care how long it takes. You're so selfless in how much you care for other people's happiness. I want you to be happy. Do I really deserve that, though? If other people deserve happiness, why don't you, Siori? Just ask yourself that. Please? For me? Uh, okay, for you. Feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Finally. I feel like I'm not alone in trying to help Siori anymore. I know that it must have been a really difficult thing to agree to, but I'm really proud of you. You're so much braver than you realize. Although, I haven't been too pushy or anything, have I? I want to encourage you, not force you. It's something that I would have had to try sooner or later, I guess. While there's always a chance that therapy might fail again, it's also the only way I could potentially get better. See? That's the spirit. Doesn't look wholly convinced, but smiles anyway. I'll do it for you, Roar. I'm not going to hold my breath, but if it makes you happy, I'll give it a try. It's all I can ask for right now. It means a lot to me that you'd be willing to try again. Well, let's hope that this time it works out a little better. Anyway, I'll talk to my doctor tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're getting a question right now. Holy freaking moly, dude. Okay, you know what? I, I haven't even read the screen yet, but I, I all, all I can say 
is I'm almost going to answer it with gut feeling and hope it works. Because I do find myself in a similar situation to Siori. To an extent. Um, you know, I really enjoy making people happy and I really don't care for my own happiness. And, you know, I don't feel like I deserve to be happy either. I, I, I totally get that, you know, whole self-worth thing. Um, so, I'm just going to, like, pretend I am Siori and I'm just going to read them and I'm going to pick which one I want to hear. Okay, sure. Offer to join her at therapy. This is something she has to face herself. What the fuck? I mean... <laughs> I mean, at least I would want someone to offer. You understand that, like... Offering to join someone in therapy every day, that's, that's like, a lot, you know? Just hearing somebody say that, I think that's really important. So, even if she says no, oh my god, definitely offer. Oh, and Siori? I, I thought, like, we did already offer, by the way, but whatever, it's fine. Um, I can come with you to your therapy sessions if you want. Are you sure? Would they let you? Do, um, your freaking boyfriend, hello? And if they don't, I'll just marry you. And they have to let your husband join. <laughs> Duh. I think so. I mean, if you tell them you're okay with it, I don't see why not. Just keep me updated, okay? I wouldn't want to miss your first session. Okay, then. And thank you. It's kind of daunting to start, so having you around should hopefully make it much easier. I'm just glad I could help. Hmm. It is so funny that, again, this mod said it was, like, so heavily choice-based based, and there's all these different routes. I'm like... I feel like that was, like, literally... Depending if you get the good ending or bad ending, it's just, it's right there. It's right there. If you don't offer, bad ending. If you do, good ending. Maybe I'm wrong, though, you know? Maybe I'm thrown for a complete loop. We'll see. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's keep it going, though. We've only been, uh, recording Rawr. for... Martin! Martin. Excuse yourself, Martin. Don't follow the... F don't... Don't follow me right now on Twitch? By the way, I live stream on Twitch almost every day um if you are watching this right now you could uh, you could come join martin <laughs> uh on twitch you know twitch link at the top of the description i'd highly recommend coming by if never have before because it would make me really happy and like also i know it'll make you happy i'm, I'm telling you twitch is probably you'll probably really enjoy twitch i know some people don't but if you haven't given it a try i would definitely recommend it i think i make better content over on twitch to be honest Mostly. Some YouTube videos I am very proud of, though, for sure. Anyway, let's keep going. Before I know it, the weekend has already arrived. It's been a few days since you agreed to try therapy. Okay, this, this music is fucking way louder. Okay. Is that still a little loud? We'll play it on the safe side. Okay. Before I know it, the weekend has already arrived. It's been a few days since you agreed to try therapy. The slight nudge from me, she spoke to her doctors who managed to arrange, uh, who managed to arrange for her first therapy session tomorrow. It's kind of a mouthful. As relieved as I am, um, with such a speedy response, I'm still fairly apprehensive. Seeing how persuasive her condition is, pervasive, sorry, <laughs> interfering with her ability to get homework done, twisting her self-perception. It's been daunting, I can't lie. I guess just seeing how serious depression is has really been a shock to my system a part of me does worry that somehow me getting involved is actually a bad thing perhaps i'm somehow making it more complicated do i really know what i'm getting myself into here no rar don't listen to that silly irrational side yeah don't even bait me right now i know i'm on the good route bitch <laughs> let's look at the positives she agreed to get some help so this is the first step towards recovery yeah, that's true. Plus, I'm going to be with her, so at least we're making this step together, right? Should be fine. <laughs> Being a chronic over warrior truly is a curse. Being with Suri makes me happy. It's best to focus on that and stop worrying about what could go wrong. That, again, the world we live in, it has so many different realities and outcomes. You know what I mean? Um, multiverse. So, could us joining Suri be the bad route technically well yeah definitely you know maybe i say something that really rubs her the wrong way 
Maybe she says something to me. Maybe the therapists do some kind of weird shit because I'm involved. Like, I don't know. But we saw that talking with Siori, she was very happy that we joined her. So that's what matters. Or, you know, yeah. Because if I constantly focus on the negatives, well, it's no good for anyone. Stay positive. Optimistic outlook, Rar. Optimistic outlook. After completing my morning routine, I found myself sitting at my kitchen aimlessly wondering about uh, how to spend the rest of the day. One of the drawbacks of your first relationship is that you don't really know what you're meant to do with your partner. It's just fucking, like, why, why are you making it so difficult? Just, like, hang out and, like, cuddle and kiss and, like, make babies. I mean, it's, it's so hard, dude. Just, just, basically, it's just, it's just your best friend, but you also get to have sex with them. Pretty great, right? Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Just, just, just hang. Just develop the relationship. Get in there. Champ, you're fine. Let's go. It's too cold to spend much time outdoors, so we're limited to the indoors. I check my watch. 10.14 a.m. Pretty early. Sorry, wouldn't even be awake yet. As my gaze idly settles on the used plates in front of me, an idea hits me. Oh, Sorry would love this. About half an hour later, my work is done and carefully placed... My work is done and carefully placed into a bag. What are we talking about here? I make a trip over to her room, hoping that she's still asleep. Again, these transitions. It's like every other mod would like, take us outside, take it to her living room, take us to her room. It's just like, boop, boop, just bedroom to bedroom. It, it's like Siori like lives with us or something. I just walk upstairs. Um, as I was hoping, she was fast asleep. No surprise, given it's not even 11 yet. As I approach her, I'm struck with how cute she looks when she's sleeping. Oh, woo. Wait, that didn't sound super creepy, did it? I mentally chastise myself. Stop being so weird, Rar. By the way, she's... Uh, by the way. Um, wait, but, but... Oh, but the way she's curled up into a ball. Even with her hair being a mess and a slight trickle of drool leaking from her mouth. She's perfect. I don't think there's any way that this girl could ever look anything less than beautiful. The light sounds of her snoring turn my light smile into a heartfelt grin. Setting my bag down, I quietly walk over to her and gently brush a lock of hair that's fallen into her open mouth. She stirs slightly as my hand brushes against her forehead. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. I made you breakfast. She groggily sits up and rubs her eyes, hugging the blanket closer to her. You didn't have to, Roar. Can't help but feel disappointed and slightly irritated by her reaction. I was looking forward to seeing how exuberant she'd be. What time is it? Uh, like 11? Yawning, she pushes the covers off and sits up. She still looks quite tired. She gingerly opens the bag and pours a smile onto her face. You can thank your dear sunshine poem for inspiration, especially that last line. God, I'm so selfish. I have such a thoughtful boyfriend who's been over considerate, uh, super considerate and made me breakfast in bed and I can't even thank you properly. You went through all this just for me. Anyone else would be appreciative, and yet here I am complaining that you're here. Uh, no, it's not like that at all. I mean, yeah, I was hoping you'd be a little bit happier to see me, but... Well, it's kind of on me for forgetting how difficult mornings can be for you. Don't worry about it. I can tell that my words haven't convinced her in the slightest. Yeah, yeah, see, we fucked up because we said that it was a slight inconvenience for us. You just you, you can't even say that cuz she's got she's going to harbor on that man. Oh, you are kind of upset with my reaction? Fuck. You know, it's just done, dude. We'll talk to the therapist about that one. Appropriate communication. <laughs> and I don't get the feeling that you want me here. Re wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. wait. I, I think I read that wrong. <laughs> and I don't get the feeling that you don't want me here. Okay, 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 okay. I, I forgot one of the don'ts. Relax. She slowly starts chewing on the food. This is really good. It's pretty basic stuff, to be honest, but I'm glad you like it. Natsuki's cooking has nothing on me, as you can see. How is, uh, how is it that you can make me laugh when it's the last thing I want to do? Magic, I think. Maybe I was a comedian in a past life. It's a question that science has been trying to answer for the past hundred years or so. <laughs> By the way, can we just have a lazy day? 
I don't really feel like going outside or anything. Fine by me. Little uh, little brekkie in bed. Maybe we're gonna watch some anime. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll watch um, Parfait Girls with Siori. We'll see what the what the hubbub is about, and that way we can relate to Natsuki better. You know, you can't forget about your friends. You know, we still should hang out with Yori sometimes. After she finished eating, we make our way back to mine. We've pretty much resumed our standard activity of cuddling on the sofa. Uh, maybe my earlier worries were unfounded after all. We're both content in just being in each other's presence regardless of the activity. I'm aimlessly flicking the movie channel on TV. F flicking through the movie channel on TV. Oh, I whip my phone. I'm sorry, but how are we not going to end the episode here? <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, when push comes to shove, it's about time anyway. Um, thank you for watching, though, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, like the video if you want, you know. Don't if you don't. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I already mentioned my Twitch channel, so, yeah, come by to Twitch if you want. I'm probably live right now. Top of the description. That's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Take care, and have a damn good one.